This is a lesson on how to create a boomerang video in Photoshop. The first thing we're going to do is look at the video that we've placed in Photoshop and the graphics that we placed on top of the video. Each graphic is designated as a layer, a separate layer on top of the video. And as we play it back, we can see that the graphics happen at certain points in time when we play back the video. Once we're complete creating graphics on top of our video, we're going to export this video by going to File, Export, Render Video as one piece. And we can name the file. We're also going to save the location where it's going to be uh, stored on the computer. Um, we're going to change maybe the size. And then we're going to select Render. At this point, we are done editing the video, so we want to save our project file. Next, we want to import the video file that we exported, but we're going to import video frames to layers. So this is going to import video one that we saved as frames, and each frame of that video is going to come into Photoshop as um, layers. The range is going to be set from beginning to end, and we want to make sure that make frame animation is checked. We'll check our video playback just to make sure everything is there. And we'll press OK. Once we press OK, we'll see all the layers lined up in our layer panel, and we'll see the frames lined up in our timeline. And play it back, we can see all the frames play in regular order. Uh, from this point, we need to go to our options of our timeline, and we're going to uh, select all the frames from beginning to end. Once we have all of our frames selected, we need to go to the options and copy all the frames. And once we have all the frames copied, we need to go back to our options, and we're going to select reverse frames. And what reverse frames are going to do is it's going to reverse all the frames that we have selected. Next, we'll paste in the original frames before the frames that are on our timeline that are now reversed. To do that, we're going to go to our timeline options and select paste frames. And the paste frames options box uh, shows up. And we're going to select paste before selection before our selected frames and the original frames that we copied are now pasted at the beginning of our timeline. And as we play it back, we can see that the original frames are there and then it goes into a reverse boomerang. Finally, we need to export this video. Uh, we are gonna to go to File, Export, Save for Web, and under the Save for Web, this is going to allow us to turn this into an animated GIF or boomerang. So in our Save for Web dialog box, we're going to use the preset of GIF 128. Uncheck Transparency because we don't need any transparency. And if we want to change the size of the document, we can, but we're not going to really change any sizing. So as we check the playback, just to make sure everything looks good, um, we need to look at the looping options, right? So everything looks good. So we we'll take a look at this looping options here. And right now it's set to forever. We can set it to once or other, which means that we can play it back 10 times if we want to, but forever is good. And as we save it, it's gonna ask us, where do we wanna save it? Um, how do we wanna name it? So I'm gonna name this uh, video two or dancing boomerang video two, maybe. Maybe just dancing boomerang. And it's going to be on my desktop. I'm going to save it. And as this exports, uh, we'll go to my desktop to check it out and open up Chrome browser. And we'll select File, Open, and select our Dance Boomerang file and watch it play. This is how we export a boomerang from Photoshop and test it in our browser.